Hello, this is David Young of uh, ECE 5750 Digital Signal Processing at the University of Virginia. Uh, this mini project is about uh, basic sound filtering, and I'm going to play you an audio file of a certain someone trying to sing um, a little bit of Rush. Uh, you might want to turn up your volume a little bit for this, it's going to be a little bit quiet. Oh, I also forgot to mention that I like to sing with my mic next to the uh, dishwasher, the running faucet, and the garbage disposal. So, um, here's the waveform of the signal. Um, not too much to uh, look at. You can see the little spikes where um, you know, sing the different syllables. So, there's obviously a lot of noise. Um, to get rid of that noise, we're going to try to filter this out. I'm going to apply a simple low pass filter, nothing fancy, just using the F-Design low pass. And uh, how do we choose our uh, pass band and stop band frequencies? Well, um, I know that uh, middle C, C4, is about uh, 261 hertz. And uh, C5, which is the octave above, um, what is uh, double the frequency. So that's uh, 522 hertz. So I know that I sang uh, um, between those two uh, notes, so um, I want to construct my filter to be above 522 hertz, but I also want to capture the harmonics um, as well, the subtones from the main pitch, so those can be a few octaves above. So we'll say that we'll filter out anything above uh, 1500 hertz, and uh, we'll see how that sounds. Alright, that didn't sound too bad. Uh, here you can see the magnitude response of that filter. Um, and uh, obviously you could still hear a little bit of grinding in the background, it's, um, the low frequencies. Um, and that's sort of the problem with filtering, like um, the uh, faucet and the garbage disposal together make uh, simulate a little bit of a white noise, so you can't really filter out all of the noise. Um, so that was a low pass filter. Let's try a high pass filter because I'm curious to see how that would sound. Um, so I choose my uh, stop band and pass band to be um, below 261 hertz. So um, you can see those values here. And let's wait for this to run. Oof. Um, well, it seems like the high frequencies are a bit more disruptive. Um, so, uh, that would be the uh, faucet running there. Um, so here's the magnitude response here. I'm going to zoom in on this um, so you can see what's actually happening here. Yeah. Um, so nothing really wrong with the filter. It's just the noise that's coming in. Um, so. But given the choice between the two, I would choose the low pass filter for this application. Um, and the selection of filters is important in the world of sound. Um, and uh, while we can't filter out all the noise, we choose the best filter um, in order to uh, get the sounds that we want. Um, so that's it for the project. Um, any questions?